Welcome back to Children's Corner. And today we are outside, especially near water. And why do you think that is the reason? It's because of the little fish who searched for water. This is our title for today. But normally fish live in water. Now, why was this little fish searching for water? Let us read on and see why. Once upon a time, there lived a little fish named Lele. He lived in a small lake near the Nile River. Lele had a brother, Elel. The two brothers enjoyed swimming among the rocks and the reeds. They knew how and where to get their food and how to avoid the danger of ending up as food for the big fish. One day, Lele was moving lazily around their house. He overheard Elel who was engaged in a serious talk with his parents. Yes, even fish have parents. He stopped to listen better. Elel, the mother, was telling him, We have been hearing the fish talking about polluted waters. They were worried. Can you find out more about the water? It is true, answered Elel. If water is polluted, we have serious problems. Lele, who was following the conversation hidden behind a rock, was shocked. What is this water? He said to himself. I have never heard about it. Annoyed, he flashed away. He felt betrayed by Elel. Why did Elel never talk to me about this so important and precious thing? Moreover, they were always together and Elel taught him many things. Lele decided to discover this secret by himself. It was getting late and the sun was already disappearing behind the trees of the nearby forest. This was the best time of the day. It was the time when the animals of the forest were coming to the lake. I will ask them what is water and where I can find it, he concluded. The first animal to arrive was a very tall and elegant animal. Lele waited until this animal lowered his head and came very near. Shyly, he asked him, Please, do you know where I can find water? Perhaps you are water? Not surprised that a fish could speak, the tall animal replied with kindness, Oh no, I am not water. I am a giraffe the most elegant animal of the forest. And with these words, he left with a very soft pace, showing Lele all his elegance. After a while, Lele saw another animal coming to the lake. He was very big. Maybe this is water, thought Lele. As soon as this big animal lowered his tusk, Lele jumped with fear. Then slowly, slowly he got near and with a gentle touch attracted his attention. Please, are you water? He asked. With a very loud ho, he answered, Oh, 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 I am the elephant, the biggest animal of the forest. And after saying so, he moved aside to let his large family come near the lake. Lele thought that perhaps the animals coming to the lake in the morning may know where to find water. That night, he did not go home. He found a small refuge near the bank and waited for sunrise. When the first light of the morning appeared from the horizon, a great number of animals arrived at the lake. From one to another, he asked if they were water. Oh no, answered the gazelle. And the same was the answer of the tortoise, the deer, the zebra. None of them knew water. Lele did not give up. He was determined to find out the mystery of water. He did not want to ask Elel what to do. Perhaps... He had to search along the course of the river. Perhaps 
someone knew about water and where to find it. He started his journey following the stream of the river. He swam the whole day. It was a very emotional experience. He was discovering so many new things. Unfortunately, he was not able to enjoy them because his mind was very busy with one thought only, where to find water. Tired, he stopped near a nice garden. It was getting late and he was also hungry. Tiredness overcame him and he decided to get a good night's sleep. In the morning, he would look for some food. The dawn woke Lele up and he felt a deep nostalgia for his home, for Elel. He was very hungry and instinctively started looking for something to eat. He was attracted by some small white crumbs. It was delicious food. He had never tasted anything better. He tried to look where it had come from. Perhaps at last he had found water. It was midday by now and looking around he saw a little girl sitting at the bank of the river. He had seen girls before. They liked to swim in the lake though they were not really good swimmers. He grasped at her to attract her attention. Will she understand the language of animals? He thought. After a while, the little girl noticed Lily and she bent down and tried to hold him in her hands. No, no, exclaimed Lily. You should not take me out of here. My mother told me that I must always stay here. The little girl, she was called Francesca, understood Lily and to assure him, threw more crumbs of bread. Lele was now sure that this girl was water or knew where to find it. He flashed next to her and waited until Francesca knelt down and came closer to him. She listened to him. Please, Lele asked her, do you know what water is and where I can find it? This time, Francesca was taken aback. What is water? Where to find it? exclaimed Francesca. What kind of questions are these? She answered a bit annoyed. You ask me what is water and where to find it. Do you realize that you are in the water? You are living in water. Water is around you. You swim and flash in the water. You find your food in the water. You sleep in the water. You wake up in the water. You play in the water. You cannot live without water. While Francesca was speaking, Lele was listening with his mouth wide open, completely confused and surprised. How was it possible that he was looking for something he had always had? In that moment, Lele remembered Elel and his mom and dad. He was longing to go home and happily flashed away. Francesca woke up from her dream. A fish looking for water cannot be anything but a dream. But it was a good one with a very strong message. At times, we look for things we already possess and have in plenty. At times, we long for love while we are surrounded by it. At times, we look for God while God is always near us. He is our life and our all. We cannot live without God. She stood up. She longed to be home. Happily, she started running. She had to tell her parents something she wanted to tell them for a long time. Thank you for your love and care for me. I love you too. Now, what is it that you too have to tell your parents, your brothers and sisters, and your friends today? 
from my part, I say thank you for being with me. I love you too. God bless you.